Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you've been watching over the last few days, I have done three consecutive days of charity shop hunting, obviously before Christmas closes everything down, um, because I wanted to do a dark, uh, last ditch attempt at getting some stock. So over the last three days I have uploaded videos and I do um, know that in those videos sometimes it can be hard to tell what I've purchased uh, for how much I've purchased it for and sometimes I can't even add the stuff into the video for various reasons like not being able to film in some of the shops um, and other stuff like that. So in today's video I'm going to be doing a charity shop extravaganza haul video showing you everything that I've managed to pick up over the last three days or at least I think this is everything. Uh, there could be some more stuff hiding in my stock room that I moved over there and I can't remember even putting it in there. Uh, but as far as I'm aware, this is most of it, if not all of it. Uh, so we're going to go over this in today's video. Now, I don't know how long today's video is going to be. I don't know how much of this you can see, but there is quite a lot here uh, to go through. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be quite interesting, hopefully, if you're actually into uh, watching videos of people showing what they've purchased. I'm going to try my very best to remember what I've paid uh, for these items. However, there is a lot here, so I may forget the prices of some of them. But anyway, without going uh, into too much of a rambling spree, I got hiccups, I don't know why I apologize, at today's video. Uh, if you do like today's video, please do drop a like, subscribe, Join the Discord if you haven't already uh, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what is your favourite item uh, in this pile that we're going to go through today. And uh, yeah, if you have any comments on uh, prices or anything like that, do let me know. I'm going to start with something I have here. Uh, these were items I didn't manage to get on camera, uh, but all of these were purchased for £1 each. So I'm going to go through these uh, to start with. So first things first, we have two paperback uh, adult versions of Harry Potter here. Now these were one pound each and they're like the small version. They've like condensed the pages down. Uh, I do actually have some hardback ones here, which are the regular size ones. So you will be able to tell the difference in size. Uh, but yeah, these were all 99p or one pound each. Uh, the paperback ones, I believe, are these first editions? I can't remember. I know all of the hardback ones were. No, these ones are not. So these two are not first edition copies. However, I do have right here. Okay, they're in like topsy-turvy order here. Uh, as you can see, I have two of each book uh, and all four of these are first editions. These are the hardback versions of the adult book. Uh, the spines on three of them have been a little bit sun damaged. As you can see, they've gone a little bit blue. This one here is the only one that's the correct color. Uh, but the fronts of the books are okay, which is the main thing. Uh, so yeah, this one has a little bit of a dent here. Uh, but other than that, they're in pretty good condition for their age. Uh, they're not mint condition by any means, but they're in okay condition. Uh, and these are, like I said, all in first, uh, first edition prints, uh, which is nice. I can't remember exactly how much I listed them for. Uh, not too much. I think they're around £10 each. Uh, but yeah, for £1 each, that's pretty good. Uh, if I had the rest, I would do bundles. Obviously, it's best to sell them all in one go uh, if you have all of the set. But I don't have the whole set, so I couldn't do that. Uh, but they have been listed. And uh, yeah, they are up on the eBay. Oh, by the way, my eBay page link is now in the description. I have my Etsy and other stuff on there as well. I can't remember exactly what else is linked down there, but it is all linked. So if you want to check out the store, go have a look. Uh, most of this stuff will be listed now, but not all of it. So uh, yeah. Next, we're going to move on to something that I actually got for free. So there's like a community charity shop down in the high street. Used to be in the town over, but they've moved it here in the last year. Um, and they actually give away books and children's toys and teddies for free uh, for the community. Uh, and then the rest of the stuff they sell to pay for like upkeep of rent. And then uh, people, like older people come in there. Obviously they can't right now because of what's going on, but they would normally come in and they would have like chit chat and like keep everyone company and stuff. So it's a nice little store, but they do give away a lot of stuff for free. I tend not to uh, go in there and grab the toys and the teddies because obviously 
they are for the kids around you know the town and stuff so i don't do that uh but the books they seem to seem to stay in there forever so i do go in there and have a look at their books sometimes and i do leave a donation which i did for these because i managed to pick up a load of these books now you may be wondering what these are exactly uh these are piano sheet music for songs like this one here is the coldplay x and y and then we have stuff like maroon 5 uh, we have Beatles, we have Robbie Williams, Celine Dion, <laughs> and it goes on and on and on. We've actually sold one already. I sold this one here, Elton John. So this one was up for £7.50, and that sold pretty much instantly. Uh, there is another Elton John one here as well. Um, and yeah, we have other stuff in here like Complete Christmas. We have uh, Learn to Play Piano. Oh, we have another Coldplay Viva La Vida here. Very nice. So all of them were free. I ended up giving them a couple of quid for them, I believe. I can't remember. It was just the change I had in my wallet because they don't take card in there. Which ooh, which does make it hard to shop in there as well because they don't really take card. Um, if you do find something and you don't have cash on you, there's not a cash point in town uh, in the high street, which is really annoying. Uh... But yeah, we got all of them for a couple of quid and one sold already. So yeah, look out for your piano and like your music books and stuff like that because they do tend to sell pretty well. Right, moving on, we've got a couple of board games. We have here Monopoly. Uh, this one was £2, I believe, uh, or £2.50. And I can't remember whether I've listed this one yet or not. But this will go for around 13 I believe, uh, on that one. Uh, there's a wizard. You would have seen this one in the last video. I think this one was two pound fifty. I think all of them in that shop were two pound fifty. Um, I'd never seen this before, so I picked it up just to give it a go. Um, and I think it's about seventeen pounds. I could be wrong. It might be fifteen. I can't remember. I, I do remember that I was a little bit shocked at how high it was because uh, I honestly was thinking it was going to be a dud. Because uh, nine times out of ten, if you pick something up on the whim. It's not going to be worth great amounts of money, but that one actually was okay. Um, so, yeah. Right, this one here, this is Sabutio Finger Football. So normally they're like those little wibbly wobbly things, but these ones, like you're the goalie and you have to put your hands in like the boots and stuff. Paid £4 for this, and I think I ended up listing it for £19.99. Uh, there was only like two others on eBay at the time that I listed it. And one of them had sold for around 18 or something. So I decided to just put it up for 20 19.99, And uh, hopefully that one will sell. Um, I don't think it's going to sell before Christmas now. What's today? The 18th, something like that. Um, it's a little bit late now uh, for people buying for Christmas, I would say. Um, I am getting messages from people saying, will this make it? Um, and it's the most difficult question to answer. You want to say yes. Because you want to sell the item, obviously, and you know if you say no, they're not going to pay for it, not going to buy it. But you don't want to lie either, because if you say yes, and then it come, and it doesn't come, and then they want to return it because it's too late, blah, blah, blah. It's like the worst question to answer. You just have to be honest. You have to say, look, I can post it for you, like, right away, and fingers crossed it will come, but I can't guarantee it. And they don't usually like that answer, so they don't normally pay for it, but... Yeah, if you say yes and it doesn't arrive, they probably will do a return on you after Christmas, so just be warned. Uh, let's buy Hollywood. Again, this was another one that I just picked up because I'd never seen it. It's uh, in the style of Monopoly, kind of, um, for adult players. I think I paid £2.50 again, and this one is not worth much. I think it was like £12, something like that. Ah, this one actually has a price on it. 500 pieces of jigsaw. I got this one yesterday. Let's take that off before I forget. There we go. This is a brand new puzzle. Uh, train puzzles do really well for me. That's why I always try and pick them up, especially if they're new and sealed. Although, having said that, this is a very cheap puzzle make. So when you see like this kind of puzzle... Um, I wouldn't really recommend picking this up unless it's brand new because the puzzle make this, whoever makes this, I don't, I don't think even has a brand on it. Oh, Javelin Designs. They're like really poor quality. 
um, so they don't fetch like as much as maybe a falcon or something like that uh, but this one was brand new and for £1.50 I can probably get £10 out of this one uh, so that is why I decided to pick that one up okay we have two boulder dash uh, both picked up on different days one was yesterday and uh, one was the day before you only saw me purchase one which was this one I paid 2 50 for this one uh, and the reason why I picked these up was because someone in the discord actually listed theirs and they got 28 pounds for this version so I listed this for 25 it's actually getting a lot of traction a lot of watches and stuff so yeah Hopefully that one sells. And then this one I got yesterday for 99p. So 250, 99p. That just shows the difference between different charity shops. Uh, they're both complete. They're both in pretty much the same condition. Uh, and they're both going to be listed for £25. So yeah, nice uh, little purchase there on that one. So obviously £50 back, hopefully, uh, on about £3.50 investment, which is really nice. Uh, okay, moving on, we're going to do a little bit of the uh, the cups and stuff. These were £1.50 each. They're brand new sets of two. Um, if you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you will know that I love to buy mugs and stuff like that. Uh, so when I saw these, I picked them up. Obviously brand new that I've listed them for, I think, £15 a set. Now, these are from the store Hema or Hema. H-E-M-A. I've never heard of them, but they have a couple of shops in the uk i think they're like a swedish company maybe um but yeah um two sets of them got them up for 15 pound each they're very nice they remind me of the uh, red solo cups that they have in uh, in the usa uh, but these are proper mugs yeah so they're nice if they don't sell within like a couple of months which i think they will but if they don't i'm gonna have them Right, moving on, we have this lovely set. I think I paid £2 for this. Yeah, £2. Uh, this is a double, uh, two times uh, hot chocolate uh, mugs here by Mason Chocolat, French company, established in 1856. And I just really like these. Um, they're not everyone's cup of tea. I understand that a lot of you at home are probably like they're disgusting um but to like just imagine like a hot chocolate in this like you've got hot chocolate you've got cream on top you've got marshmallows you've got a sprinkle of chocolate dust in there just really nice um on a cold evening you know it's just really nice in my opinion um and yeah these are vintage they're over 20 years old as far as i can tell from the research that i did not much research out there uh, I couldn't even find the company, to be honest. So whether that actually is a real company or not, I do not know. Uh, but these are vintage, and I think I have them up for about £20 for the set. Actually, I might be a little bit higher than that. It might be £30. I can't remember. The link's in the description if you want to go have a look. If you want these, I'll do them for 20 quid for you. There you go. Bargain. Bargain. Okay, we have a Nescafe cup. If you see a set of Nescafe mugs in a charity shop, pick them up because if you have like three or four, they will go for 20, 25 pounds uh, and they're usually very cheap. So I picked this one up and I have listed it, but what I'll do is most likely wait until I find another one. And then if I find another one, it will more than double the price. So I can't remember exactly what this is listed on my store for. Uh, but yeah, if I find another two, one, two or three, perfect, because they sell really great in sets of four. I remember my last set of four, I listed for like £25 uh, and it sold like overnight. So yeah, people really like the Nescafe. Next up, we have this little Minnie Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse, uh, in his little outfit with his cane. Um, I think this is one of those ones where... He used to be able to go and paint on uh, the glaze like in Disney and then they would fire it for you and you'd come back and pick it up uh, because it does have a Disney Japan stamp on the bottom. So it is official, uh, but it looks hand painted, whether it was like a guest that did it or whether this is just how it was originally. I do not know, but it's really nice. The guy in the shop chipped it, unfortunately. So 
that's annoying but I colored it in and it doesn't look too bad uh, but yeah nice little uh, old and I don't know how old Disney Japan is actually it might not be that old at all um, but yeah here we go do 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 where am I gonna put you there we go <clears throat> Right, my favourite item out of all of the ones I've picked up in the last few days is this. Of course, if you know me, you will know that I love tea. And it has to be Yorkshire. If you're drinking anything other than Yorkshire tea, you're doing it wrong, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, this was £4. No idea whether it's worth £4 or not on eBay. Uh, I picked it up. Uh, I am going to list it. And uh, if it's not worth a significant amount of money, I may just keep it. Although I won't use it. I may have it in the kitchen, okay? <laughs> so yeah, that's my favorite item. I'm not gonna lie. Right, moving on, we have... Furbies. These are McDonald's Furbies. From 2001, so... Next year, they will be vintage. There's six of them. There's three black ones, there's two red ones, and there's a blue one with a crown. Now. Three of them are taking the batteries out because they were dying and they were going to start leaking. Uh, but the black ones still work. So if you squeeze them, they talk. And then if you push two together, they start singing. Wait, that one's not working. Hang on. Now they're both singing. <laughs> Okay, so these were 99p each. I paid just under £6 for these. Uh, and I've listed them for £4 each. Uh, so about £25 back on these once they have sold. Uh, they're not really worth much. I picked them up more for me uh, to have around. Because I don't know if you can see, I have a little collection of uh, Furbies in back. I do like the original Furbies. And these ones, like I said, from 2001. So yeah, if you can ever find these for like 10p or something, probably pick them up. Uh, I wouldn't recommend paying a pound for them like I did, but uh, there you go. Sometimes you just buy stuff because you like it. Uh, but they have been listed, so they're not going to be staying around for too long, hopefully. Uh, but yes, okay, we're going to do the shoes next, and then we're going to run through the clothes, because we have bought a lot of this in the last few days. So, first pair of shoes. These were £7.50. Um, I thought these were women's to be honest, but when I actually did research on them, they are men's. Uh, so these, I forgot what they're called now. They were called Harachi Free, Night Harachi Free Trainers or something. Uh, yeah, these were £7.50 um, and I have them listed for about 35 I believe. Um, yeah, there were a lot of people that had these listed for like £80. Or eighty dollars or something, but I couldn't find any that had sold for that amount. So I'm not sure why they were listed so high, but yeah, I thought they were women's because they had like fluorescent orange and pink and stuff on them. But no, they are men's. Uh, they're actually a really nice trainer. They have like slits in the bottom so you can run really nicely. Uh, but yeah, I took a gamble again for seven fifty on these ones, and hopefully, hopefully that will pay off. And again, I did the same for these ones as well. Uh, again, these are men's Nike trainers, 750. Uh, once again, on these ones, I don't know how well you can see them, uh, but yeah, these ones, I think they're up for about 30 as well. Um, these ones are in really nice condition. The bottom's obviously a little bit dirty, uh, but everything else is in really nice condition. Um, so yeah, if they go for about 30, 35 pounds, something like that, I'll be happy. Uh, I'm still. I'm still very much in the, le in the learning phase when it comes to trainers and clothing. Um, so all of this stuff is all just like knowledge for the future. Uh, even if it doesn't sell, um, then I'll know what to look out for a little bit more in the future. Okay, so the other day I went to that one pound, everything's a pound shop, and I picked up two pairs of shoes. The first ones I got were these Howick or Howick tailored, uh, established in 06. So that's quite a new company. Uh, these ones right here, they're in really nice condition, a little bit of wear, uh, and I paid obviously £1 for these. I've not done any research on these yet, so I cannot tell you how much these are going to be worth. 
Uh, but if I had to pluck a number out of the top of my head, um, I don't think they're like anything special, obviously. Uh, so probably between 10, 15 pounds, something like that. Uh, but for a pound into 10, 15 pounds, that's pretty good. Um, it's not amazing. If these turned out to be 25, 30 pounds, that would be a lot better, obviously. Uh, but I'm not having expectations uh, of anything like that. Uh, but yeah, they're quite nice, to be honest. Uh, I'm not sure why anyone got rid of them. Maybe they just got newer ones. I'm not sure, but there's nothing wrong with these. So they'll make someone happy uh, for that kind of price. And we did also get another pair. Now, these are made by a company called Hush Puppies. Um, not Slush Puppy. Completely different. Slush Puppy and Hush Puppy are different. I'm telling you that now. You do not want to be uh, thinking these are Slush Puppies. They would taste very bad. Uh, I believe Hush Puppies is an American brand. I could be completely wrong on that. Correct me in the comments down below. Uh, but these are more of like a decorative uh, ones. that have lots of like hole punches out of them and everything. <clears throat> you see these a lot, but normally they're like 10, 15 pounds in the shop. Like something ridiculous that you would never pay uh, unless you like absolutely knew that they were going to bring profit. I know George Ross deals a lot with these kind of shoes. Uh, whether they're actually these kind of shoes that he buys, I don't know. Like I said, I'm still learning. Uh, but he tends to pick up a lot of uh, work, like kind of office shoes and stuff like that. Um, now, if you know your shoes, then you can go into a shop and you can say, well, those ones are gonna double my money i'll pay 15 pounds for them i'm not at that point yet so when i see them for a pound i'm gonna pick them up because it's a good cheap way of me learning uh what is worth and what is not um but yeah they look pretty nice uh hush puppy i believe is a pretty big brand as far as i'm aware so uh I will keep you guys updated on these. Uh, I could research them tonight and they might be worth like three pounds or something. Uh, but I don't know for sure yet. So we'll have to wait and see. Right. All we have left now is the pile of clothes in the corner. So I'm going to run through these as quick as I can because there is quite a few. There is quite a few. So I'm going to plonk them down here and go through them. Walking Dead. This is a size XL, and I actually have someone that's interested in this. So this may be sold by the time this video goes live. The Walking Dead, this was from the pound shop. Uh, so I paid one pound for this. Absolutely nothing wrong with it from what I can tell uh, in size XL. Pretty, really nice. Next up we have the Demogorgon shirt, again, from the pound store uh, that I went to a couple days ago. And obviously Demogorgon is from uh, Stranger Things. So there we go. Again, nothing wrong with that one. And that one is a size, I can't tell because the label's busted. Uh, yep. These ones are not listed as of yet, but they will go up fairly soon. Uh, we have a t-shirt here. And this one is by Antonio Fusco. Some Italian brand by the sounds of it. It's a bit wrinkled because it's been in a pile, but there we go. It's a nice work shirt for the office. It's in like a salmon-y kind of light salmon pinky color. Um, and it's got a really nice texture to uh, the material. It's not like a smooth, it's like a ridged Kind of texture that's kind of why i picked it up for a pound again a pound i paid for that one uh this one is the coca-cola t-shirt and i paid two pound for this one santa claus riding in his uh coca-cola van and i believe this one's a size medium yeah size medium on this one this one is currently listed on the store don't ask me how much because i've forgotten oh we have some football shirts coming up in a second, so if you're into that, stick around. Ah, I can't remember what I paid for this one. £2, I think. £2. Warning Grumpy. This is a Disney official t-shirt. Really nice. And that one is a size... Okay. It's a size something. Medium. There we go. 
a size medium. Okay. Next up, we have a FIFA t-shirt. I'd never seen these before, but I've now been told that you can purchase these along with the game uh, when they release. So this one, yeah, from FIFA 17. Paid 250 for this one. I think it's listed up for about 15 pounds in really nice condition. Uh, the only thing wrong with it is the label inside. The size label has faded a little bit. Uh, but yeah, this is a size large. It has 17 on the back. So that's really nice. I'm trying to fold these up as well as I can on the way because otherwise I have to iron them again if I need to photograph them because some of these I have not photoed yet. Next up we have a uh, Fila t-shirt, brand new with tags and I paid £4 for this I believe, official in size XL. I'm tempted to keep this for myself, does it look good, shall I model it? There we go. What do you think? Nice? Yeah? Maybe I keep that for myself, I don't know, I quite like it. Uh huh. Right, what do we have next? We have an England t-shirt next. England football shirt with Keown number 18 on the back, official lettering. Uh, this t-shirt is a size, I think it's a large. I can't see the size at the moment. It's from 2014, so it's about six years old. I can't find the... Uh, the size right now, but I would say that's probably a large, maybe even an XL, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'd have to do some measurements or look at my list and I think I've listed it already. Maybe I haven't, I can't remember. Okay, I've not listed this one yet. This is a size 16 apparently, Ben Sherman t-shirt. Uh, I need to actually find out what the 16 means in times, terms of size, because I have no idea. But yeah, this is just a standard Ben Sherman t-shirt. Again, I paid £1 for this in the pound store. Nothing special. Uh, we got this jumper from the pound shop as well. Oh, that's dusty. And this is a Done. So this, yeah, this is a vintage Done jumper. So if, if you're into all the vintage stuff, uh, this one's really nice. There's no damage on this at all. Uh, but as you can see, it has the old Done logo. Donate Essential, size XL. Very nice. If I was an XL, I'd be wearing that. Unfortunately, right now, I'm not, so I can't. Right, we have this lovely pink Nike Golf t-shirt. I actually have someone interested in this as well, currently, and this is a size small. Uh, so any small golfers out there that like the uh, fluorescent pink uh, Nike, let me know. And this one was two pound, two fifty, something like that. We're nearly done, guys. We're nearly done. Uh, another golf T-shirt here, Glenmuir. Uh, I do pretty well in Glenmuir. Just a bog standard purple, right there. I had a nice vintage uh, Glenmuir jacket before. I had like a lovely, uh, like eighties coloured pattern on the inside, and it was purple on the outside and had a green arm and a and a purple and a pink arm or something uh it was really nice actually have this star wars t-shirt that is a size large there you go and that one was a pound in the pound shop we have this tie that i picked up shown you in yesterday's video Paid a pound for this. This is Peanuts with Snoopy Dog on the front. This here is that diving t-shirt. I think this is already listed. This is a Academy de Plunge or Plunge, 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 blah, blah, blah. however you say that word. Yes. Couldn't really find anything on this, to be honest. They don't do a mass amount of clothing from what I can tell. Uh, but yeah, I picked that up. It was like two pound or something. It's actually really nice quality um, Next up we have this one. This is actually fantastic quality. I love this If this was any other color than green, I would have kept it for myself, uh, but this is a wand dry perfect fit size large uh, like jumper 
I guess you call it a jumper. It's like a t-shirt, but it's a bit thicker than a t-shirt. I would wear this like over a t-shirt maybe. I'm not sure. It's really nice quality, like seriously. It's stretchy as well, look. Really nice. And that was, what shop was that from? That was the one in town. So I think this was like two pound or three pound. And then last but not least, we have these three. Oh, hang on. We have this Lacoste Polo, which is a real one. Uh, I was worried that it wasn't, but it's definitely a real one for sure. Uh, and I paid two pound for that. No, was it four, four pounds? Yeah, four pound for that one. Uh, again, I've not done any research on this, so I don't know how much this actually is going to go for. Um, but yeah, last but not least, we have these two brand new t-shirts I picked up in yesterday's video. This is a brand called XO28, and I can't find anything online. XO28 at CE.company. Um, I have no idea. I paid £2.50 per shirt. They're brand new with tags. I just took... Uh, a punt on these to see uh, they look really nice condition um, obviously brand new the quality is really nice with tags uh, but I can't find anything online so I'm just gonna have to make up a price I believe uh, I'm probably gonna list them for like 15 I, I don't know to be honest I'll start I don't know I guess I'll start oh my god it keeps falling down I guess I'll start at 15 and see what happens uh, but yeah that is everything I believe that I picked up uh, over the last three days of charity shopping. So it's not a massive amount. Um, if I'd had a good day in any one of these places, I probably could have picked up this amount of stuff in one day, but I didn't. It got spread over three days, but there we go. Uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the videos. I still have my hiccups somehow. Uh, if you did, please do leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, join the Discord, over 350 people in there now, crazy, crazy stuff, uh, and leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, what have I forgot, Discord, uh, I'll see you guys all in the next video, and if I don't see you before Christmas, please do have a wonderful time, uh, I know that um, right now is not the best time to have Christmas, but it's going to happen anyway. So have a great time. I wish you uh, a me very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Um, but do join the Discord because we're going to be talking in there and keeping up to date with everyone during the Christmas season, even if I don't post another video, which I probably will. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys in there and in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.